Hello and welcome to the section 9.4 application walkthrough. Uh, these problems are definitely some of the more advanced problems and I'm going to do what I can to help you out and give you a little guide through this. So to start off, let's look at the first one. So it says in 1867, the United States purchased Alaska from Russia for 7.2 million. I'm going to write 7.2 million in scientific notation. So that would be 7.2 times, so since there's uh, six digits after a uh, million, we have 10 to the sixth power, okay? And it, it says that the total area of Alaska is about 3.78 times 10 to the eighth acres. The uh, question on this asks, what was the price per acre? So my hint here, it's kind of small, but you can read it. It says that the price per acre equals the price divided by the number of acres. So this is the price right here. And then the number of acres, we also have that in scientific notation. So that's 3.78 times 10 to the 8th. Okay. So let's go ahead and treat numbers like numbers and exponents like exponents. I'm going to go 7.2 divided by 3.78. And then I'm going to multiply that by 10 to the 6th over 10 to the 8th. Okay. Now when I do that, when I go 7.2 divided by 3.78, I get, uh, let's see, 1.9. So it's going to be 1.904. Uh, and then 10 to the 6th divided by 10 to the 8th is 10 to the negative second power. Okay, so that's that's the number that's the number of dollars. Uh, we don't usually like it with that uh, negative exponent there. So I'm going to go ahead and move the decimal back two spots. So we would get 0 0.019. And really, what that means is if we round that, let's say that we got it for when we bought it, we bought it for about 0 0.02 dollars. Okay, meaning two cents per acre. So a pretty good deal, I think, um, even though a lot of Alaska is still you know, not as developed as the rest of our country. Um, we got it for a pretty good deal. So good job. Way to go, USA. Let's look at number two here. Uh, number two is about the Amazon River. Okay, for the Amazon River problem, it tells us that... Uh, the Amazon River discharges about 4.2 times 10 to the 6 cubic feet into the Atlantic Ocean uh, every second. And then how much water does the Amazon River discharge into the Atlantic Ocean each year? So the hint here is we're looking for the amount of water per second times the number of seconds in a year. So you're going to have 4.2 times 10 to the 6. So that's the uh, water per second. And then the number of seconds in a year, I'll go ahead and give you that in scientific notation. Uh, just call it uh, 3.15 times 10 to the 7th power. If you were able to figure that out on your own, good job. Uh, but from here, I'm just going to let you go on this problem. You're going to want to uh, multiply numbers by numbers and your powers of 10 by powers of 10. Okay, and it should give you... A pretty easy answer at that point um, and I think that you can do that after what we covered in this unit okay the next one is about mass so the mass of a grain of salt is about 10 to the negative 4 um, and those would be grams uh, how many grains of salt are in a box that contains 100 grams of salt so what you're going to want to do there is go your 100 grams divided by the 10 point or 10 to the negative fourth and that would be you know grams per sorry grams per grain so you're, you're going to just want to figure that part out and what happens when you uh, simplify that and it says to give your answer in scientific and standard notation so make sure you do that as well all right let's look at the last one here it actually has two parts to it and i'll help you out on the first part and let you go on the second Okay, for the first part of this problem, it says that the in uh, 1981 the national debt was mere 
uh, that actually is one trillion um, twenty-eight billion seven hundred twenty-five million dollars. Uh, so that's quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and approximate that as uh, ten to the twelfth. And in the same year, there are about ten to the seventh people over sixteen years old who were employed. So this was just kind of a way to pay off that debt. Maybe uh, we'll see what it actually turns out to be. Uh, if we split up the national deficit between every person age, uh, over the age of 16 and employed, uh, what would each person owe? So you're going to look at the 10 to the 12th over 10 to the 7th. Okay? And so you're going to want to simplify that and then give your answer in scientific and standard form. Okay? Shouldn't be too bad uh, to finish that problem, but I want you to see if that's... Uh, reasonable to have every person pay that amount and I'll let you be the judge on that one especially those of you that are over the age of 16 and employed tell me if you want to pay that much I don't know it could be you know it could be like the first problem in two cents but uh, you go ahead and figure that part out uh, the national debt now is 14 trillion blah 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 okay a lot of money so approximately approximately how many times bigger is the national debt now than in 1981. I'm going to let you go ahead and figure that one out, but uh, after you get that done, make sure you get those answers checked. Let me know if you have any questions, and good luck on the mastery challenge. We'll see you out there. Keep on going.